Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about sea moss, a wonder supplement that you can use for your skin, your health, and especially weight loss. It's not a game, it's a red skin. or Irish moss is a type of red algae used in many cultures all over the world. From a cough to weak points to increasing your libido, it is used in its gel form and can be found in Scotland, Ireland, and Jamaica, or many other countries. You can apply it topically for your skin or it can be ingested for further health benefits. You can make your own gel or you can buy it pre-made I got mine from a small local business in the Toronto area called Sea Moss Blends and I'll leave all her information down below if you want to check it out. Picked up my Sea Moss, thanks Alicia, um, and I'm gonna try it. She said it might have a slightly fishy taste but you know, it's not strong. Um, I'm just more worried about the slimy, like texture in my mouth, I'm a texture eater. So I'm gonna try it, okay, so Sea Moss. It does have a slightly fresh Honestly, it's the texture that's it, that's gonna get some that's gonna take some getting used to. So I grab my sea moss from the fridge every morning and you can either take it straight or use it in your favorite smoothies drinks you can just add it to your water in the morning you can do whatever you want with your sea moss if you're ingesting it i usually just either take it straight with a spoon or sometimes i like to taste it so i'll take a spoon I will drink some water and chase it with some sort of fruit, such as a cherry. When you add it to your smoothies or add it to your water, you don't even taste it and you get all the health benefits of this wonderful supplement. So sea moss has 92 of the 102 minerals that you need as well as various nutrients and vitamins and this includes non-heat iron, potassium iodide, potassium phosphate, magnesium and calcium which strengthen bones. So for those of you anemics out here like me with your freezing cold hands, that iron will do you some good. Because of the iodide content, it promotes a healthy thyroid, which is usually a big problem, especially in women. It also promotes digestion and manage hunger, and this is the biggest one for me. So I, now that I've been taking sea moss, I don't feel as hungry because of the fiber content, and it also soothes stomach irritation. So ladies and gents, it is good for your libido. It has a high manganese, zinc, iodide content, and just a lot of minerals that help with the thyroid and overall body functions, and just helps improve that area of your life. With everything going on in the world right now, coronavirus, it is good for your immune health, and it has anti-inflammatory properties, so it's good for your skin, good for beard growth, anti-aging, eczema, detoxifying, strengthening, it pretty much is good to soothe everything internally and externally. So you can apply that on your skin, it's good for your face, get that glowing sensation. So my skin is looking pretty good for sea moss. Um, that's because I've been doing a lot of different things, ha um, taking care of it. I have a whole regimen that I do with black soap and just drinking a lot of water and there's a time when my skin was just a mess, just wrecked and sores and acne and just painful all around. Thank goodness that's over. Um, but you know, prevention is better than cure so I'm just going to keep taking care of my skin internally and externally. So we're going to try our sea moss. Growing up, um, you know Irish mosh, I grew up in Jamaica, um, Irish mosh was a big thing there but I never liked it, probably because of the texture. So I never, and then growing up now hearing all the benefits of sea moss or Irish mosh, 
Irish Marsh, Irish Moss, um, depending on how you pronounce it or say it. Um, and seeing all these benefits and now going back to something I used to be like, ew, why am I eating seaweed or algae or what is that? It's kind of ironic. But that's life. So I'm back. It is now dry. As you can see, the bottom is like... This is how it looks dry on the bottom and then the top. So for my skin and my face, um, the top of my face is oily and always shining and my cheeks and everything. And the bottom is super dry so I always have to moisturize. So I don't know if that's why it looks so flaky on the bottom and like regular on the top. It's covered the same amount all around but the bottom is has like sucked the moisture out of it even more than the top. Which is weird, I didn't notice that before so it's like... So that's a quick intro on sea moss. I just thought it'd be interesting to let you guys know what I've been doing other than working out and what I've been eating in my regular diet. If you found this interesting, let me know down below in the comment section whether you've tried it, you're gonna try it, and remember always do your research before you do anything. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, sea moss related or not for me, I'll be doing a Q&A soon, so let me know down below in the comments. And I hope you check this out or think of adding this to your life to just get overall health benefits or for weight loss.